How y'all doing out there again? Freddy Cozy checking in. Hope everything going well with everybody. As always, you know, everybody on the up and up. As I say, you know, praying for that. Uh, but today I just want to holler at y'all about a, a passage in the Bible. Um, I'm sure y'all have heard about the talents. You know, the one who had, you know, the Lord, Lord had gave him five and, uh, well, it's a parable that Jesus had said, and then he, you know, one had five, one had two, and one had one. You know, and, uh, the one who had five and the other one had two, they had gained something. You know, gained double, you know, what they was given. And, you know, the one, you know, who just had one, you know, he he, he didn't do nothing with it. You know, uh, he, he buried it, you know, and, you know, when that, that Lord came back, you know, to know reason with them and to see what had happened, you know, you know, he, he pretty much said he was going to make the one, th those, those two who had gained something, he was going to do even more for them, but for the one, you know, who had, didn't do nothing, who was, as it, as in the passage, he was slow for and everything, you know, he put it in the, you know, he didn't have such a good thing to happen for him, you know, uh, you know what? When I read that story, you know, I, you know what comes to my mind. You know, uh, you know, even sometime in the days time, you know, some people maybe because they don't get or have it as somebody else. You know, uh, they kind of look for pity. You know, in that story, story, you know, he didn't get no pity because you know he had something. He just didn't use it. You know, everybody got some that they. They, they probably just ain't tapped into it, but they are good at something. You know, you may not have as much or, or, or given as much or have as much as somebody else, but you have something to work on. You know, you just not where well, you don't have anything, you know, but, uh, the key is, you know, uh, at least for me, you know, the biggest part I take from that story is not to be lazy, you know, you know, uh, just because you don't have, what somebody else have, and I'm pretty sure that would, you know, it don't say that exactly in the story, but just from my point of view, you know, a lot of people, you know, kind of look for pity if they don't have what other people have, you know, and try to almost look for an excuse like, like the one who had the one talent had, you know, he tried to give an excuse, but it didn't work, you know, to, for him. But uh, a lot of people do that, you know, you don't want to ever, just because you ain't got nothing, you know, as somebody else, that don't mean you can't put forth the effort. You know, uh, I'm going to give you uh, another example of myself, you know. I remember back, you know, uh, when I was working, you know, I, I've been in the workforce almost over 20 years now. You know, soon I got old enough to work, you know, I went that direction versus I know seen and know other people went other direction. You know, I went to flipping burgers, you know, honest living. But, you know, that's making... Like I say, minimum wage back then. When I started, I think it was five fifteen. You know, you know, and I like I said, only until I got almost, I think in my thirties, you know, I had jobs like that. You know, fast food joints. And when I got in my thirties, you know, I finally landed a job with Coca Cola. You know, that you know, start making some decent money. You know, but uh, that's why I often say, like in the end of my videos, you know, be thankful. Become thankful, you know. Learn to be, learn to like, <laughs> you know. That's what they back in the day. You say you better learn to like it, you know. I I did that, you know, and was grateful, you know. Now, you know, I'm mean, picking up paper, you know. Where, like I said, I worked at a truck stop and everything, you know, and saw some of everything, <laughs> you know, uh, cleaning up after people, you know. But uh, like I said, I thank the Lord for where I'm at now, cause I remember picking up paper, you know, uh, and stuff like that. You know, and that truck stop, you, you liable to see some of everything. <laughs> you know those truckers. Uh, you know, you know, you, not all of them. And like I say, I'm sure you got more clean, but those little bit, you know, they <laughs> leave a lot of crap in a tr trash can. You know, I think the hope I don't go. Hope y'all don't <laughs> click to cliff off, click off there. But you know, I actually thought, you know, just I, you know, I used to see them on TV. You know, uh. <laughs> You know, people playing stuff and like blow up dolls. I even saw that. <laughs> I picked up one of them. I guess, I guess the truck or whoever bought it <laughs> got tired of that <laughs> and threw it in the trash can. 
You know, I probably didn't do no better, you know, when I came, <laughs> I saw that, you know, I just pulled bleach on it <laughs> and then throw it in the trash can and compact it. So whoever her name was that <laughs> that he had, <laughs> whoever kicked it to the curb, you know what I'm saying? I ain't do much better for it, but uh like I said, I, I see a lot of the, lot of that, a lot of crap, you know, people dump at truck stops and do people urinate in bottles and them they get right with it, you know, pissing bottles and do some everything, throw it in a trash can. Like I said, thank God I ain't catching that, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, but even the cleaning showers, you know, I probably was a, like I say, I, I was happy doing it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I learned to like it, you know, because it was an honest living, uh, you know, and I thank God today I don't have to, I, that's, it's a memory for me, you know, you know, picking up paper on, on in a parking lot and things like that now versus me putting mail in a box making three times as much you know walking a package up to a door you know it's it's something i think about and i'm grateful and that's why i often like say be thankful for whatever you get you know uh because somebody if somebody won't you be in your shoes you know what you may not think of that you know maybe going to a, a restaurant wherever you think you ain't making money some people don't have that so it's really important, you know, always be thankful, you know, but uh, and don't expect pity. A lot of people, you know, expect pity because of they, like, say, the people who get caught up in the wrong stuff, you know, finally get caught, you know, they expect pity, you know, but they don't get pity, you know, which they're really not deserving of pity because other people, you know, who work hard, it just, a lot of people, like I say, you just don't have it like everybody else. I didn't have it like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just had to work hard, hard, work hard. It's just how it is, you know, not expecting no pity. It's a trip when I see that, man, people expecting them to get pity, you know, for a bad decision that they make when, like I say, nobody make you or force you to do anything, you know, illegal or and nothing like that. Nobody forces you to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's your choice, you know. But anyway, man, uh, I kind of got off on a, <laughs> got off a little bit. But uh, anyway, man, slow for this, man. You know, you know, you all, you got something. You know, you you may not have what other people have. You know what I'm saying? But you got something you can put out there and you know to get to gain some off of. You know what I'm saying? Like those other two, you know, in the story, you know. A game five, you got an opportunity to gain double with what you got now. Put it that way. They gain double, man. Whatever you got now, you got something now that you can gain double off of. Look at it in that way. You know, think of it in that way. You may have little, but you can double that doing something. Look at it in that way. But, uh, you know, that, that came off the dome, you know. But anyway, look at it in that, that, that way, man. You got something to um give give to the world, you know, you're here for a reason, and I truly believe that, you know, so don't look for nobody to pity you, anything, you know, you know what I'm saying, you want to work fully for what you get, you know, you'll learn to appreciate it more, you know what I'm saying, I appreciate a lot of things now, you know what I'm saying, the knowledge, just knowledge, I appreciate, you know, people break it off to me, I take it, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, even if it, they get on me a little bit, I take it. You know what I'm saying? And see what I can do something to make myself better. You know, uh, but anyway, man, just don't be slow for don't thank you. What you got don't mean nothing. You know, you got something to give out too. You know what I'm saying? What you got can be double. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, that was on my mind, man. Man, and uh, I'm losing words. But anyway, man, think of it in that way, man. If anything, I want you to leave. Think about what you got can be double. You know, you know the, the guy who had the ten, he gained that other money. They, they you know, uh, but I put up where I, where I found that what the where the the, uh, the story at in Matthew. You know, uh, in that book, that's where it's coming from. I can't think of right. I had it, had it. I just read it. I can't think of, but I'm gonna put it down now where I got it from. But anyway, man, like I say, what you got, can be, you can double it, man. Till next time, I'll see y'all the next time, and y'all be safe as always, and stay thankful for everything. Peace out.